the Trim Entities command can be activated from several locations in the SOLIDWORKS interface. The Tools, Sketch Tools drop-down menu, On the Command Manager, Sketch Toolbar, and from the right-click menu when working in a sketch. Options in the Trim Property Manager provide several methods for shortening existing sketch entities. Some of the options allow for entities to be extended as well. Messages at the top of the Property Manager provide information on using each of the different choices. I'll start at the bottom option and work my way up. Trim to closest will trim a selected entity to the nearest intersection. An entity can also be trimmed or extended by dragging it to another sketch entity. The Trim Away Outside and Trim Away Inside are closely related. Both first require a boundary to be defined. The boundary can be a single closed sketch entity, such as a circle or ellipse, or two open entities, such as these two lines. Items can then be selected to trim off everything outside of the boundary. Or inside of the boundary. Corner will take two crossing entities and trim them to a common corner. With this option, the area of the entity that is selected will remain to form the corner. Power Trim is the most flexible option in the Trim command. With Power Trim selected, I can drag over areas in the sketch to trim them away. A red square is available on screen in case I need to undo an area. Holding the Shift key while dragging will extend the entities I pass over. Also, while other trim options require intersections with other sketch entities to define the point to trim to, another function of the Power Trim tool will allow me to select an entity, and then simply click the location to trim it back to, or extend to. If trimming to intersections, however, dragging the cursor over entities is the most efficient.